I'm here um, with a video about a new innovation for windsurfing where you can adjust it's this little piece where you can adjust downhaul by just pressing a button and um, in this video I will go through it all uh, there will be my first impressions from using it right after I'm finished talking here then there will be a long interview with uh, David and Wim father and son, both engineers who have developed and um, sell this uh, product. And then in the end, there will be my conclusions. I have tested it two times in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Yep, so second day in Strandhorst with the small of the Invictus. And uh, yeah, today I'm using the Sontag like I did yesterday. It's the fins I know the most and I don't know the board. And I have the triple D extension in and it's working really well in the lulls. I release downhaul in the gust. When I see a gust coming, I tension the downhaul and you can feel the difference. And as Wim told me, it was like shifting gears on a bike. And in the beginning I was skeptical, but it's just working and it's so much fun. And as you can see, uh, it's chubby. But I got a run behind the, the dam and yeah, speeds are pretty good for a first time setup. I haven't found the perfect trim yet, but I'm working on it. So yeah, great first day on the small Invictus and even in the steep chop it works really well. Also my good old Avanti M8 6.3. It's just working and it's so much fun to trim your downhole on the water. I did not know that it would be so much fun and it's just, you just press a button here and you can hear it working down here. So it's just, it's windsurfing 2.0 I think, 2.0, it's just, it's fun, it's just fun. And windsurfing is fun, but this is just another level of fun because you can just trim. In the old days, we could only trim this. That was also quite a big help. But now you can, you can just. It's amazing. I'm stoked. Yeah. So back in beautiful windy Denmark, going for a session on the 6.3. I'll just show you quickly how you rig up with the um, Triple D extension, innovations extension. So. Of course you put it, I know that for 6.3 as I used it before, it's the seventh hold from the top. Uh, the remotes I put on the boom with the velcro in just a little bit, but um, I have to remember to turn it on. And we got two lights, you have to have the two lights on. So you put this cap and then the adapter for the SD mast. Yeah, and then I'll I'll release the downhaul as much as possible. You can hear it working. And see it. And then when we get to the end of the road, I remember this way, B is for baggy sail, A is for attack mode. So now it's all the way down, you can hear it. So yeah, see you on the Ricking side. Yeah, let me just take this one and I put it between the harness lines and I during rigging I I'm allowing it to point upwards so you don't get dirt from it being pushed down. So if you put it like this, no dirt. So here's where it gets a little bit different than you're used to because the rope is coming out of the middle one. So you have to um, do it a little bit different, but it doesn't, it isn't that difficult. Otherwise it's just normal.
see perfect threaded no overlap and you have to um, not pull it all the way yeah bleeding for you um, because you will tighten it with the extension so it's much easier you don't have to pull that hard so um, yeah super easy just uh, pull the rest flip on the cams and um, yeah adjust with the buttons so no problem breaking it's just as just a teeny tiny bit slower than with a normal extension okay. and you can hear it down When my son uh, and I went uh, started racing, we we uh, knew the downhaul was so important, and uh, it, it, it the, the condition changed all the time. Yeah. And the downhaul is like the speed of your bicycle, the speeds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so the, the going uphill yes. with the same speeds, it's incredible. So to get planning, you need less downhaul. And when you are at top speed, you need more downhaul. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, for every speed of the board and every wind speed, you need an other downhaul tension. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. 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 Because when I go speed surfing, I put an extra CM on because I just wanted to release more when I go really, really deep, yep. and when I didn't have to go <coughs> up. And, and I, I think, yeah, your idea with the adjustable on the when you are sailing it's just it's just amazing and i'm looking forward to trying it out yeah but what what for what, when we sell uh, 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 an extension mm -hmm. the 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 nice thing is that everybody after a week or two weeks or four weeks even or after two months giving us emails mm -hmm. I'm so happy. It's yeah. it's it's working. I never f <laughs> imagined one centimeter at top speed would make such a big difference. It's yeah. also the comfort. Yeah. Because sometimes you are overpowered, and the only thing you do is boop. Yeah. It's pulling down. You and you feel the backhand is going going mm. easier. Yeah. But. That is what, what I'm at this moment retired and my son and I, uh, we developed this system together. Yeah, maybe we should hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can hear you. No, that's okay. You're that's like okay. me, you just talk and talk and talk. And <laughs> he's, just, he's just very enthusiastic. Yeah, and that's, of course. And that's I'm, great. But and Yeah. Um, so, so I'm David. I'm, yeah. uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. I've, yeah. been, uh, I've finished my degree, I think, almost three years ago now. Yeah. <clears throat> So you are the how young? How old? Oh, uh, how old you say? <laughs> uh, at this moment, I'm 24. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, right now, I am working part time uh, as a mechanical engineer, and I'm doing different projects for different companies. Yeah. Uh, I've worked solving in, all kinds of problems with yeah. all kinds of companies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've worked in food, and right now, uh, I am working in the concrete business. Okay. Uh, and I help, yeah, develop. Uh, the facilities which produce concrete right now. Okay, and so also and a, a passion for windsurfing. Yeah, also. of course. Well, he taught me. Yeah, <laughs> and now he's, he's he's telling me what I'm doing wrong. So yeah. he's going past me like yeah. uh, <laughs> like a Formula and, One. And when did you start windsurfing? At ten or Ooh, fifteen? Or? No, I think at around eight or ten. Yes. yes yeah, yes, at around yes. eight or ten. Okay. And uh, yeah, never stop. Yeah. So uh, every time uh, when it starts to get uh, warm enough and uh, it doesn't yeah. rain all the time, we uh, like to go near our spot at Stonthorst. Yeah, I was there yesterday. Oh, yeah. you, you, you yeah, yeah, okay. we sailed there because then we didn't have to drive that long. Oh, uh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah. It was a nice. It's, ni it's a nice place. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I just got new boats. Different story. Um, and I sailed very <coughs> fast. So. Yeah, no. mm. I, you can see the video. <laughs> it's already up there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Very so. good. So yeah, during um, my what was it education uh, from becoming mechanical engineer, uh, we started thinking, well, uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could like trim the sail on the water, and then well, and uh, mm. then we became curious. Well, then okay, that's an interesting idea. How can we do it? And from there, we well started this company actually yeah because i think 
if you, uh, other systems where you do it, if you see the IQ filers, they have, but yep. they have to stop, mm. pull the string, and the and also back when we had the RSX yep. um, for Olympic class, they also had a rope system. But um, yeah, this is way cooler, I think, <laughs> and way smarter. But you were also you guys were race windsurfers or yes, yes, windsurfers, yes, yes, yeah. yes, and yes. still racing. There are some some. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, so pretty. They have more trophies than I do. <laughs> we'll end it here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. A lot of trophies. Yeah. Also, um, you look pretty fit for a seventy-year-old. I must say. Thank you. Um, but still, all the when we got to the um, small slalom boards with very short length. You have to overcome the, the, the waves of the board to get yep. planing, so it's, exactly. you're always either really, really overpowered or you have to pump like crazy, yeah. especially with the 8.4 and, and mm. where the 85 is very wide and yeah. they are always actually shorter than the medium board. And the reason is that you are always getting your downhaul and your distance that is marked on the sail, yeah. but that is uh, 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 made for top speed. Yeah, but it isn't good to get planning. No. So with this system, you can get planning immediately, yeah. no effort at all. No. And when you want to have stop speed, like your speed on your on your bicycle, you can change gear. Yeah. This that that is exactly what we are doing. We are changing gear yeah. for the yeah. sale. Yeah. And also, I think like it's like we talked on about on the phone. It's like. On a sailboat, if you go sailing, you don't stop to trim your sail. Yep. You trim on the fly, yep. and and you feel the difference. And then you know, is this good? Is this bad? And I think also that because if you get a new sail, also it would be nice to trim it. Like you can feel, oh, I did too much. I did too little. And then you have to go back and maybe even, you know, switch, take one step further up here, and then go back out. And then it's yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then with. Like with that, it's also like um, because you go back on the beach and then you adjust it and you go back on the water. It, yeah. You're you're not sure if it if the changes actually did anything, a hundred percent. Yeah, you lose the feeling. This, yeah, and yeah. with this, it's instantly you feel the difference. Yeah, while, yeah, and while think, you're surfing. Yeah, and I think that's the most exciting part yeah. for me, because also if you saw some of my fin testing and stuff. <clears throat> I have to go back to the beach, of course, to change the fin, yeah. and and also, and you have to unscrew, and then the wind is a bit different, and and some of the comments that I got is, I mean, you can't test it, you just describe how you feel, but I said, what else do I got? Because yeah. the wind is different. Ten minutes from now, the mm. wind will be different mm. than it is right now, yeah. and stuff like that. Mm. So, so I think for for really feeling the difference and finding the perfect setup, because we don't all have the same time to go sailing like the pros and stuff like that and just to find and we the might hit the, hit the sweet spot yep. every third time or something but to could be able to hit it pretty easy and 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 really find it and feel it it will also be easier to, mm. to feel how is the rig working yep, exactly yeah. yeah and we just um assume that now it's done. yeah it's it's just an ordinary uh, uh, RDM. Yeah. Uh, this is loose. There's there's no there's no real connection. No. And uh, you can use the system like this. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, like a normal extension. Like normal. The only thing is that we can change our system to, to an an uh, SDM. SDM. Yeah. yeah. And it's working really fine. Yeah, we yeah. have never had any breakage up to now. Yep. And, uh, and we have used it extensively. <laughs> and we have used it extensively. Yeah. yeah so but, okay. what we what we developed is this: we've got a battery system yeah. with a, a on-off switch that is also protecting the battery that is inside. Yeah, because We've that's always what you think: salt water and yeah, electricity. But that's, yeah, but that 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 is the the yeah. We've got a waterproof chamber, so uh, the top is waterproof. Yeah. 
there is an extra seal. Even if you don't use the SDM and you're using RDM, this is a, a watertight uh, connection. Uh, so battery and all the electronics are inside. Yeah, it's it's uh, David that designed the the the, the electronics. Yeah. We've got an engine with uh, a gearbox. Yeah. A support and a piston, so you have to push yeah, this little button. Close up later. You have to yeah, exactly yeah. push for three seconds. Yeah, until and both then are on. then the protection is on. If you don't uh, uh, push uh, three seconds and there's only one light, that means you can uh, destroy the battery. Okay. There's the strongest battery. On the world that are inside, it's a, a lipo, a lipo battery. Yeah, it's a lipo. Yeah, it's, I think it's. I have the same in my camper actually. Yeah, yeah. that's probably that's uh, possible. Well, they are pretty expensive. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, you put you... the line inside. You can, yeah. you can, if you need, you can afterwards always exchange the rope. But uh, it we use it yeah. for two, uh, two, two or three years. Yeah, but do you they they last forever. Yeah. So it does make a splice and then this one. The, yeah, it's a splice with yeah. Dyneema. Yeah. So uh, what we do also, we secure the rope by using the, the, the Dyneema, uh, the, the, the green uh, fiber is also yeah. Dyneema. Okay. It's going 10 times inside and yeah. then we. Uh, okay. So it's. So you order, if, if let's say the rope. Breaks, but you can they, always you exchange just, it. Yeah. But you just order yeah, the one yeah, with yeah, the yeah, yeah, splice. Exactly. You know, exactly. You, you yeah, can even make it yourself if yeah, you want. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the handcrafting. But, yeah. but I would say, just to to put it in perspective, I saw and I checked your website, went through it all the way, mm -hmm. and it's very. You have one product, but you have like the most. What should you say? It's so. Detailed your website. There's for everything you can just push down and also yep. maintenance how you use it. And I must say I was very impressed. And I was thinking, um, a typical engineering stuff, not marketing stuff. Well, it it also <laughs> has to be uh, detailed in in my opinion because uh, in this case it's something new. People haven't seen it before, but yeah. sometimes people have thought about it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, electronics in windsurfing is. The new, scary, so uh, yeah, we want to make sure that we have thought really well about this. Yeah. And if, if you have any questions, you can also always look at the website and that the information is ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah first, but I'm, I'm just impressed that it's so detailed. The first, the well, first yeah. 10 uh, emails, yeah. by the way, on our, on our website came from other companies. Yep. That said, wow, how is it possible? We we uh, we thought about it already for 20 years and this is the first uh, appearance. Yeah. So what you see here, it's a, a rubber seal. A also. rubber seal. Yeah, <coughs> this is the watertight chamber. Yeah. So there is a little resistance. A re little resistance. Yeah. And what you should do, by the way, remember, there's a mark here. It should align with the name. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Just and to make sure the orientation of the rope is correct. Okay. For so the, you're you're not okay. you're not For putting the, the rope in, in, in this direction. And so it could cut. So you understand what I'm saying? Uh, so the, the rope now always oh, yeah. always turns like this. Yeah, okay. Because like there's a pulley inside of here which yeah. uh, which realigns the Yeah. Lead you close up and put it in later, yeah, so no problem. Which realigns it with, but uh, uh, yeah, because yeah. I also think it was a little bit exciting, because I didn't knew from the beginning where you um, put the rope into the. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, <coughs> everybody is asking, how do you do that? Because yeah. even yeah. if you are with your nose yeah. on the on the on the trimming of the sail, you can see it. You it cannot can see, see what is happening. No. So look at this. This is a little trick. Because how can you get the rope? There yeah. are two pulleys. There's a pulley here, yeah. and there's a pulley inside. Yeah. So you you need to to learn a little trick. So you just have to 
get this it one's out getting first. out. Yeah. And now you're wiring it to the inside, looking for this oh, rope. Oh, easy. Yeah. Done. And just another question: How how many years have you used on developing the system? Uh, well, on this system <laughs> it was three years, but it, already in 2017 we started thinking: Is it possible? With, without any uh, 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 manual downhaul. So we started okay, so doing do calculations. Yeah. We saw the, the duo tone. Yeah. Milk sugar? Uh, no thanks. Just thanks. And, uh, well, yes, uh, the, the first ideas. We started, by the way, improving pulleys. Because yeah. I don't know if you have the same experience. Yeah, but, I saw on your website that your pulleys have uh, sp uh, special bearings. Yeah, yeah, the bearings. Yeah, the way I we was have, looking for. Yeah, you know, I can give you the ropes. I leave you take your coffee. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but if you pull the rope, you you will feel any resistance. They feel mm. like ball bearings. Yeah, but they aren't. Okay. So they are special bushes. Uh, those um, bearings inside, okay. yeah. but it's it's incredible what we, we do not uh, understand why nobody is using this. Hmm. Take take uh, an, an example for example. Take the rope. Yeah. Uh, with two hands. And then. And. Yeah, you can tell that even under pressure, it is. There's, there's no, no resistance. There's no resistance because that's always the problem. I think also if you had an extension, then after slowly, a few years, yeah, it's, it's completely just, blocked. <clears throat> no, completely. So we we started with with uh, uh, improving the pulley system, and uh, well, we came up with these special bushes. Yeah. So if you take it, it's a little bit easier. So now we are. Pushing it inside up, and we can get it together. You yeah. hear? Yeah. They, oh, they and then it goes down. Up this there. one goes down, oh, okay. and that yeah. is necessary. Yeah, to see it. Because that's true. That's true. Yeah. So, so yeah. now we've got it inside, and uh, yeah, we, we we can use it. There's some little uh, uh, questions, of course, that you have. How do I recharge it? Well. It's it's very simple. You can leave it inside your mast. Yeah. I will explain this later mm. on. Yeah. You put it in your car. Yeah. Or this is a USB. Yeah. Phone charger. Phone charger. Computer. Yeah. You, and you can connect USBs. USB and yeah. now you see if you can look on top. Yeah. It's it's recharging. It's blinking. Yeah. yeah. If there is something wrong with the battery, it chuk, 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 will blink all the time. Okay. And uh, when it's full, it stops blinking. Okay. It will get uh, lit. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's important to check because there are three batteries inside. Okay. Three cells. Uh, three okay. cells. Oh, to balance the mic. And uh, they, they, the charger will balance. No okay. problem. But what I want need to do from time to time, and I advise everybody to do this. Oh yeah, I read about that you you check on your phone. Yeah, there's a little app. Yeah, yeah. I will show you. Bad it. Yeah. Confirm. Um, It have seen him. Yeah, and then you press, and then you can see the cycles and the And charging. what he can show you, you see they are connected. Yeah. And the, the here these are these cells, and yeah. they will give if it's okay. Yeah. The same thing happens when you push this button. Up. When it's uh, uh, full enough, it yeah. will stay green. Okay. When it's um, in the mid-range, it will be orange. Yeah. 
When it's okay, so you can just you don't have to take the phone. You can just no. take the yeah. for yes, convenience. Yes, you don't you don't yeah. need this. So if you're panning just right you're, before you're, every race, you just yeah. oh I have power enough. I take this extension, otherwise yeah, yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah, yeah, to charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what we can take. do, what we do all at this moment, because uh, you know what what we can do at this moment is three sessions where mm. you use. 10, 20 times yeah. without recharging. Yeah. This battery is so powerful. And when it's red, don't worry. When it's blinking red, it can stop any moment. Okay. But there is no problem because no. it will only keep fixed at that position. Okay, so it no. won't release the... No, 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 no. Okay. It no. will, as a matter of fact, this, it stops and it protects the, the batteries at the same time because lipos, you cannot mm. discharge Stem. lipos too low. No. You will harm them. Yeah. And uh, there, there is a security inside. Okay. Don't worry. In the electronics. Yes, yes. in yes. the electronics. <coughs> the electronics uh, itself are protected o uh, by overheating. You yeah. cannot overheat the system. No, then it just switches off. I it switches off. Yeah. And there is a thermostat inside also. Okay. So if the electronics don't work, the thermostat will cut it off. Also, okay. it will it will uh, 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 and it, at the end position, the system will stop also automatically. Yes. Now it's going out. Yeah. Now you understand also. Uh, 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 what it, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's the end position. Mm -hmm. Listen well. Yeah, yeah. So it won't go any further. You can yeah. you can do that twenty times, and then it's overheating. Okay. But only sixty degrees. Okay, and then. So you, you cannot break the system. Super. Until now, we have had nobody claiming there was a problem with the with the electronics. And the so. electronics are also current limited. If the uh, electronics are or the engine requires a too high amperage uh, it will just shut off it okay. won't go any further to prevent overheating yeah okay and to prevent strain on the system yeah the, sy the system also has been tested for 140 kilo yeah. one wire so this engine <coughs> can pull 140 kilo yeah but there are three pulleys yeah six so wires so we can we can uh, pull yeah, around one ton. Uh, uh, yeah. No, 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 about six, six hundred, six hundred. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I can show you here. Dineva breaks at eight hundred. Sorry. Dineva breaks at eight hundred. Try to pull. Try yeah. to pull this this spring. Yeah. You're really strong, aren't you? I like to think so, but I'm also <laughs> getting older, you know. I, I have I have arranged mm. my. Uh, <laughs> And so this is extension oh. <laughs> in, in here. Yeah. You wanna put it on the phone? So backwards it up. And it's just it's this just spring at this moment mm -hmm. it's about fifty kilos. Okay. Yeah, that's and now it's seventy-five. And that's without, that's just... With without one, without the, the pulleys. pulleys. Yeah. This is only one. And that's it. So it's strong enough. Yeah. I must say. Yeah. This is, it was just impossible for me this to is our, get. This is our strength test. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then it just goes back. If you want, yes. Yeah. You have to, you have to, uh, you have to put it back. Wait, 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 wait. There's a, a timer inside. The, okay. the timer will work for eight seconds. Okay. So uh, uh, it will um, it will uh, work for eight seconds, and that means um, about five millimeters on your sail. Yeah. With the pulleys. Yeah, yeah, because. It's and it will work. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, one fourth of about 15 centimeters. Yeah. So that's uh, now it's on the end. You hear it? Yeah. 
And now it won't go in the Yeah. Now it's cooling, it's yeah. working. Well, you felt the, the, the spring in your hand. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> impossible to move by hand, so yeah. But I can easily lift with the system, I can easily lift you. Yeah, 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 no problem. One, I'm not one 140 one. kilos. There's, there's also at the same time uh, uh, a little danger in this, in this. So don't give it to, to, to children. And that's something we should uh, put on our website also. It's not for children. No. It's so powerful, 140 kilos. Yeah, it's like if you uh, get your finger in between one of the wires and yeah. it just keeps it keeps pulling, pulling for it's eight seconds. So yeah, yeah. yeah so definitely so. first use it when you're on the water when you have that both hands on the boom, then yeah. then nothing should go wrong. No, if you exactly. use it the right way, there's no problem. Yeah, exactly. So. And it happens so often that what when we are on the beach. And we ask persons, hey, come and see, look, you're, yeah. you're, you're trimming wrong. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, come and see. Yeah. And they are looking and we, we, they're pushing. They don't know what's happening. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> they, they think it's a miracle because yeah. you cannot see here. There's something mm -hmm. different about it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's also, yeah, that is so integrated. And, it, and you could say that, that what the only thing extra that you got is the two on the booms because all the other stuff is... It's hidden. It's hidden. And but you it, can put it instant. in your you can put it in your pocket or you yeah. can leave it in over here. We did all kinds of things by the way. Yeah. We 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 started with uh, uh wristwatches. Uh th these were the first ones. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, th so make sure. uh these mm -hmm. you can put it in between the harness lines. We, we, yeah. we Oh and then the harness line exactly. secure them. But I think the normal velcro is better. Yeah. I think this is like a crisis. Also, we start sometimes you go further. Yeah, exactly. With, with this uh, type of... Uh, this was, we had this, the, this first one of the, first. the first ones. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit... <laughs> 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 but you have to start somewhere. Yeah. 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 So, so please use the, 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 the extension of the, the base plate with a small mm -hmm. Uh, a pin, parts, a not not, not the long one, yeah. because otherwise it will block the, the, the wire that go, goes up uh, inside the system. Okay. Yeah, another one is just the usual pin connection and yeah. Yeah, 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 that yeah. everybody Every, uses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everything it's is custom. standard. Yeah. It's, it's only That's the inside that is uh, 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 exactly uh, calibrated to, to our dimensions. Yeah. And then you have the better um, well, the, uh, the, the, the the bushings. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the, so you the, have the, less exactly, force exactly. acting. So in, this, is, this is the system complete with mm. two uh, remotes. Uh, remotes. I'm checking if there's... If it's it's turned, it's, off. it's turned off, yeah, it will turn off automatically. But then you will have to recharge it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just twist the wire a little bit. Yeah, to, to make, make sure it's flat. Yeah. So, so it will fit. Room. Yeah. Doesn't it? Perhaps in future we can find a system that we can recharge uh, from the outside, but. Uh, what? Yeah, but still, then you or have with a USB yeah. connector. Uh, mm. For the moment, uh, the, the, this is the, the the most available. We had some other solution with big yeah. connectors, and uh, so with the system, you have the tube to get it out. Yeah. The recharger. Yeah. yeah. You've got uh, this one. You can just look look on uh, Google Store. Google Storage, yeah. that's, that's yeah. the name? Yeah. Uh, yeah. To check, that's the one to check the battery uh, in yeah. the app. It's uh, a exactly. Bluetooth connection Ex exactly. Um, to the phone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I put it in the... I already programmed it. So okay. you only need to download the, the app, the, the app on, okay. your, on your telephone. Yes. Yeah. Going inside the box. So my conclusions are, should you... Buy this um, Triple D innovation um, extension, and yeah, as you might saw after my first trip, I must say 
Yes, and I tried it again with the 8.4 and it works and it's easy and um, yeah, it comes, the, the neck, what should you say, the, the pros and cons, the cons are there's a little bit of weight penalty, 4 to 500 grams, um, but it's weight in the middle of the board so I don't think it affects the performance very much. Um, and also there's a price penalty as a carbon extension usually goes for around 200 euros, maybe 200, up to 270. And this is with the right rope from the beginning. And um, yeah, this one is 500 euros, just about, just under 500 euros. So um, of course you have to pay a bit more, but if you just like to, yeah, what should you say? I like it, I bought it, so um, I will not get one for each sale, that would be too much, um, but um, yeah, I got one. So what more can I say? It's a nice product. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's my uh, conclusion, it's just, as a, it just adds so much range to your sales, you won't believe it. So, yeah, and um, Check out uh, Triple D's Innovations website and also you can get so many spare parts and they give two year warranty, so, which I think is a good thing. So yeah, I'll leave a link to the website below.